Hello and welcome to the Quantum Leap Podcast's first reaction to the first teaser trailer that just dropped a few hours ago on NBC. I'm Albie. I'm here with... Allison. Yay, Allison. Thanks for staying up late for me. I couldn't believe this dropped. I was so excited when I saw it. Uh, it. It came out a couple days ago on Reddit, I think, but it was a cell phone video and it was a video of a TV screen with a very nice dude in the reflection that had recorded it, but it wasn't <laughs> quite up to uh, scrutiny yet, you know? So uh, yeah, like I uh, like we both watched the Reddit version, but it'd mm -hmm. be nice to see like a nice HQ version now. Yeah, this is high quality. We got it on 4K. Drop it on the channel on a separate video also, but this is our reaction to it. I guess uh, let's just watch it and uh, say our thoughts afterwards. I guess sound good. All right, sounds good. All right, I will press play. Yes, give me that reboot. Very exciting. Give me. Very exciting. All right. So, so this is 15 ben seconds. It. It's pretty short. Yeah, we seconds. see Ben in it. I um, did spot Addison in there as well. Was she? Let's okay. The when, in the earthquake yeah. footage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so this is a teaser, so it's pretty short, which is to be expected. Uh, I don't know how many people know this, uh, if they haven't been listening to the podcast, but um, the, the reboot is redoing the pilot. Uh, at the network's request for whatever reason um which is going to be a, a completely different plot to what they did uh in the one that they shot which was completed um uh which includes all of this earthquake footage so all the stuff that they're using here is not going to be in the pilot that we see which it may be repurposed for something later but this is for something that <laughs> we're not going to be seeing right away <laughs> yeah so i think they were like i think they were like make a trailer that has like big events that the, would you would change if you went back in time to fix things, you know, and weren't yeah, thinking about it. Time travel Space shuttle. Yeah. Yeah. Which like, um, this is going to be big. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, people online, are they going to do an OJ episode? I don't know. That'd be weird. Uh, you know, I feel like, like it would be like a, a background thing. Like the original Quantum Leap would do a lot of things like that. Like Sam would see the Muhammad Ali fight on TV or, you know, there'd be something mm -hmm. to kind of place it in time. I don't see them doing like an OJ episode like he's going to be changing anything in that particular history. He's just trying to save like a bartender from committing suicide and OJ happens to be on the TV the whole episode because it takes place during the white Bronco chase or something maybe. Yeah, I mean, well, the OJ Simpson stuff was such a media circus that I can't mm -hmm. imagine like uh, it not coming up like on some TV program or something like mm -hmm. during an episode just to place it in the time. But I mean, like all uh, of these like historical events, I don't think like they're I hope that they're not planning on doing episodes <laughs> just about those things because it's really not mm. what the original show was uh, about. But I think that's just shorthand because they don't really have anything else filmed. How else do you portray time travel? That's true. It's like an early thing. Like uh, I remember a, f a few series that when their first teasers come out, they just pull footage that they have from other things that are kind of like what's going to happen. It starts off yeah. with this space shuttle. I was trying to see if it, if it's like uh, the uh, Challenger or something like that. He's in eighty yeah, nine. Well, do we know his uh, leap? He's leaping within his own lifetime, so it's probably from the seventies on, right? I I believe Maybe it's early, uh, early to mid eighties. Yeah, I think when uh, was Raymond Deborah Lee Pratt born? Mentioned. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, but I think Deborah Pratt mentioned that the character is supposed to be about 35, something like that. So it would be somewhere mm -hmm. in the 80s. I don't think any earlier than that, unless they decide they're okay. going to change the rules in some way. You never know. But, so, uh, yeah, I was thinking when, when I saw this on Reddit, I was like, oh, oh, he goes back in time and he saves the Atlantis from exploding, you know, because the Atlantis never exploded. It's in a building in, in Florida oh, here. Yeah. Um, so if you ever get a chance I don't know, to see in person, if they're awesome. pulling that stuff out right away, already going to the, like <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald, I don't know. Maybe it'll go like even more bonkers. Like it'll start where season five left off and just go like even <laughs> crazier. Like, oh, you, you remember the vampire episode? Well, this time we got a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I haven't talked to uh, to uh, Tommy Thompson since the, uh, the reboot uh, information came out because I'm curious to see if they do like a Blood Moon 2. That would be awesome. Blood Moon too. I don't think he'd be into that. He'd be the first person <laughs> to tell you Blood Moon is very good. <laughs> I think I like. I think I like the episode more than he does. 
but that's okay. So I enjoy the, the episode. Shuttle. It's not a good episode, but I enjoy it. But yeah, I would, so I, would I would like to see something happen with the space program. That would be cool. One thing I noticed I on like my thirteenth watch of this, sorry, uh, was no, it's all playing backwards. I thought some of it was backwards and some of it was forwards, but I finally figured out with the help of my daughter that it's all backwards. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> it's it's doing that uh, the scientist music video. Um, mm -hmm. I I believe that I heard there was some sort of previews or pitch or something with some sort of focus group or something like that to say like potentially things that would be happening uh during um this season of quantum leap and i think they did pitch a space story this could be all uh, unsubstantiated rumors it could be things they're thinking about but not really going to do It'd be kind of interesting mm. if they decided to do that maybe they finally give us a space bar yeah and show that's, us the space and I don't that's think where we finally see in. That's where we finally see Scott Bakula and he's just sitting there and he's like, hey, what's up? What's up? It. I've been in the future this whole time. Hey. What's up? Wouldn't <laughs> That'd that be, be cool the most amazing he... way to do it. <laughs> he's like, hey, yeah. sup. <laughs> sup. You know, and he, and he just like leaps out after the sup, you know. Yeah. Or it'd be cool if they went back and they actually put that ending on the original series and he leaps in next to Raymond Lee. I would love if we got to see any sort of unused footage from the last episode that maybe didn't get released if they shot I was trying the space to rack my bar brain. or something. Oh, that would be cool. But even if they, the footage that you found and uh, had a big hand in getting out to the public by with your uh, discovery of your, ne the negatives for that lost scene, I'm, I was trying to figure out how can they incorporate that into the new show somehow? I'm sure they have an idea. Yeah, maybe. I think it's going to be um, a little bit before they get into stuff like that, if they get that deep mm -hmm. into it. Um, that's one of the reasons they're reshooting the pilot is because they want it to be more accessible to new people. So I feel like mm -hmm. the references to the original series are going to be very minimal until maybe they've established an audience or get a little deeper into whatever plot lines they're going to do. That makes sense. I think they're going yeah. after the uh, the new fans uh, and they want a wider audience than just us sleepers that have been with it for the whole time there. So Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking at some of the footage now um, mm -hmm. on my end. Uh, is, is this more Earthquake stuff after the uh, the shuttle, shuttle, or is that... I don't know. I was going to ask you about that. It looks like some kind of march, from, but like some kind of like, march in the, the 90s. Like the, uh, the LA riots? Which riots? From the Rodney King? Incident, the Rodney maybe? King riots, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking that might be maybe. that. It's hard to tell because it's just, it's people. just <laughs> This people. happened in history. Uh, I'm maybe sure some if you, other people you know, might recognize you it. Yeah, it's just because the, the road looks kind of buckled to me, yeah. but it could be it's just not made very well, like it's crappy for, road or something. For some reason, I was thinking it's next to a beach. I don't know if it's just because it's uh, brownish gray on the right side of the frame so uh, yeah, you, something sure. else about this trailer is when it says history um is not set it's like the writing is from right to left instead of left to right because they're like writing it backwards but in a forward time while the footage is they're just messing with us i i feel <laughs> like this is history is not set he can change it promising that this is more of a change history kind of show like historical events rather than um, yeah personal stories which i'm down for too you know yeah what about I, the I ring lights know. the infinite ring lights here do you see his the eyeball infinite like ring that? lights in his eyes uh, i yeah i'm looking forward he, to seeing he can change it i need i need the t-shirt that just has an eyeball with ring lights and he on it that'd be <laughs> cool so uh, that's obviously like showing like parallel dimensions maybe or just eh, something science fictiony looking I think it's probably just they were shooting in a very bright room and kind of doing an effect uh. <laughs> there. Like maybe they had ring lights on him. I'm not mm. sure how much of this, especially when they get to the leap effect, is yeah. what will be in the final product. Because it could be it's a temp effect. It could be it's what they did for that particular episode and they're tweaking things. To me, I like the anything. leap effect. Other people, some people are like, eh, and other people are like, it looks good. So I don't know. I, so is this anything new? I love new? this actually. Is this I anything this new th from what is Sorry. what new? Are you seeing the screen where he's like running? Yeah, I, I've never seen uh, before this trailer any moving footage that was like some people like filmed right. while they were filming. But um, so we got, yeah, this we got is him the earthquake, running. Right. 
Yeah, this so is this all is earthquake, earthquake stuff. So for hopefully sure. they do air it. I'm sure they will air it. They're not going to waste that money. But it might be like halfway in the season, maybe. Yeah, well, we've discussed this uh, on the, the normal podcast, but um, it's confusing to me that they've decided to oh. do it that way if they're going to air this later, because so much of it in the pilot would have been acting Swiss cheese and uh, mm-hmm. like this is all for the first time. And if it wasn't presented as the first time it happened, I'm not really sure how much they're going to use from it unless they're deciding to do like, remember the first time I leaped? In which case, that's also a weird way to do it. And I feel less accessible to new viewers if that's what they and decided they're, to they're, do. They're talking about it while they're sitting around a space bar. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> remember after I <laughs> leaped home and this is how I leaped to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we see Addison here in the earthquake footage. Yeah, when uh, so he he appears to be getting someone through a a building, and Addison is warning him. Yeah, about something. Oh yeah, because he's actually there, so that's him, and he's moving somebody out of the way as he catches a beam to the head himself. Oh, does he catch a beam to the head? It looks like it. Yeah, if that's if that's who I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's saving somebody. I think it's the preacher from um, that one episode of classic Quantum Leap. It's a guy with a beard, old guy with a beard. That's okay, so, probably a, like a sea captain. Right. Okay. So we get to this new leap effect and uh, some people are mixed on it. I love it. I was really worried about what they were going to do with the leap effect because um, I wanted some of that retro style in there. Uh, Mm -hmm. It didn't have to be exact as as to what it was in the old uh, series, but uh, it feels like an updated um, effect, but with some kind of 80s flair to it. They got like the the light beams coming out from behind his head, much like in the original show. Uh, I like the kind of holographic reflections, the little like specks of light in there. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. For a second, I thought he was like a boxer in a boxing ring. Maybe it's because we just watched. He he is shirtless for sure. Why is he shirtless <laughs> is my question, actually. Because like, um, is this like for, Terminator rules? Like you got to leap naked or yeah, what? <laughs> there might not be a Fermi suit. It might be he has to leap naked. Who knows? Yeah, it's maybe crazy, he right? j- maybe all the Fermi suits, they got rid of them because they're like, what are we going to do with these now? No one's going to wear these. Well, so <laughs> I, I think they were made out of asbestos. That's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely shirtless. So, what's the yeah. what's the sitch? What happened? Well, uh, more views, right? That's what fan kind of service. Is. Fan service happened. Yeah, yeah, more views. They they saw that our <laughs> our biggest thumbnail was Scott Bakula with his shirt off, and they said, "Hey, maybe they're onto something." Oh yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of Raymond Lee shirtless in this show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like the leap effect. It looks like what I imagine the leap effect looked like through the limited uh, special effects technology of the time of the original show. If yeah, I, I am, yeah, definitely. Uh, I enjoyed how it looked in the old show. Um, I enjoyed this mm-hmm. here because it kind of reminds me of the 80s, uh, how they're doing it, but a more updated version of it. Um, yeah. The 80s me of to me Tron is... Tron or something. Like, <laughs> Tron. Like the outline is of the effect is brighter and neon bluer than the rest yeah. of it. So yeah, I, I see what you're saying there at all. Definitely. Though I would so we bet didn't really money get much. that this is... Yeah, I would bet money that that's it's not the final effect though. Like I feel like that's the idea mm-hmm. of it, but I bet they came up with something like we're gonna use if you if we use one shot from this pilot uh, in this teaser, it's got to be him leaping. So we need to have like some leaping effect on it. But I'm excited, and uh, one of the things uh, when this did drop, it was uh, during America's Got Talent, and it was like the final. Commer- the final commercial in the final commercial break of the show so that means i think that to me that tells me they're kind of pushing it like like yeah. saying you know please watch this because everybody would be watching because it's a countdown show they were counting like the 10 golden tickets i don't watch the show i don't know uh, my daughter does but i was watching with her um and so like it's right at the end the conclusion of the big show and the last commercial before that so i think that's one of the reasons yeah america's got talents pretty pretty big so that would be a good slot for it also um people who are watching agt are probably watching the voice which is what's going to be the lead in for quantum leap oh that totally makes sense so they're watching agt they're probably going to promote this on the voice and then so people get used to it and they'll just stay tuned yeah i'm excited that's going to be um 
I think it even said at the end there, September 19 is the air date. Uh, that they're gonna, it says this, this fall. fall. Well, they did announce September 19, so if you want more specifically, that is the air mm-hmm. date. Okay, September 19th. Okay, that looks good. And there's some kind of like a wormhole effect thing. So I don't know. Yeah, Wouldn't that be interesting. Weird if we, if we see his POV while he's leaping, like sliders or something. Whoa! Yeah, I, yeah, I would like to see Whoa. them kind of play with stuff like that, like his POV. Like, what would it be like just suddenly, you know, leaping into another situation? And yeah, interesting at the end too. Um, the quantum leap font. It's it's different. I think I've seen like three or four different fonts mm-hmm. in any of their promotional stuff or their slates or anything while they've been doing this i wonder if they're workshopping it or if they've just put a generic font on here not sure might be one of those things where it's not set until the first episode comes out or pretty close to it i think they're going to be tweaking things a lot until it finally Uh, airs i don't hate it yeah yeah i'm uh, i'm excited i'm just excited to see some more quantum leap give me that quantum leap yeah quantum leap get leaping september september 19th Get yes, leaping. September, 19th. September 19th. Can't come soon enough. I'm so excited. So we see Addison. We see Ben. We see space shuttles. We see OJ. We see people. I'm sorry. I don't know who it is, but you're probably right. LA riots, but it looks more like, like a, not a riot. It looks, is there, was there marches with the riots? I don't remember. I I'm sure there's some sort of historical march that happened in this time period, Pe- but I can't are imagine shouting at the... their screens. You know, this is what it is. Yeah, I can't imagine the Rodney King riots not coming up and probably doing an episode set around mm-hmm. that. That'd be pretty significant, and especially because it's, they're it's going to be shooting in L.A. So, and it's so timely still, unfortunately. Definitely, yeah. Um. So, uh, wow. So, if you know what this uh, clip is of, uh, comment down below. Let us know, and uh, let us know your thoughts on this. And uh, yeah. that was our reaction. Oh, uh, I'm I'm kind of like speechless because I'm excited and like. Uh, my adrenaline's like pumping, but I think from what I'm seeing here, it kind of matches my anticipation for it, but it, it's getting me even more excited. I mean, uh, this is the most fun I had in, fi- for 50- in 15 seconds for a while. <laughs> it's really cool to finally see it in motion. It makes it more real, you know, that this is happening. Yeah. Um, I'm just excited to see what they do with this. And uh, thanks for grabbing an HQ version. Yeah, so uh, this is available on here, and uh, maybe we'll watch it one more time at the close here. And uh, sure. it'll be also available in a separate video, so you can watch it hundreds of thousands of times until the next one comes out. And we'll try to get that one quick for you, too. And here it is. Hmm. I like that last sound effect where he is leaping. It's kind of like uh, tearing in space time, maybe, if I had to describe it. <laughs> I have and to listen to it again. I can't hear the sound on my violin end. Violin or viola. Sound. Sorry. Yeah, it's just a violin, some kind of stringed instrument that they're plucking, a heartbeat, a ticking clock, and then like tearing of something, maybe some kind of. It's like ding, like dinner's done. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> time, time's up. The, the, yeah. <laughs> it's time yeah they, they just google time things about time clocks melting clock no we can't do melting clock i don't know <laughs> all right well that was great well thank you allison pregler quantum leap historian from the quantum leap podcast and movie nights right yeah on youtube all yes right. you can Thanks find that youtube.com slash movie nights the series <laughs> it, it's it's worth a sub you got to watch those videos i i love them um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for staying up late for this. The other guys are asleep. They have they have excuses. They're in other countries and time zones and such, and we're night owls. So, <laughs> well, thanks for right. having me on. And everyone, uh, comment down below. Give us a subscribe. Listen to the yeah. Podcast. Subscribe so you can uh, watch the next ones when they come out, and uh, let us know what you think. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, quantum leap. Get leaping. <laughs>